Hey guys, Doward here. But I'm on my way down to Bozard Ford in St. Augustine to go trade in my Chevy Colorado. 2004 ZQ8, 3.5 liter up front, 5 seat right heel. I do have a Rhino liner on there, which I have to say I've not been impressed with. 10 years uh, I've had that Rhino liner in there. It's slowly come apart. It's not as impervious as you know, 10 years ago they were making it out to be. She has made many, many junkyard runs. We figure I've taken her from the south end of Florida all the way to the north end of Georgia. I've picked up a GM 2.8 liter V6, a 3.1 liter V6 front wheel drive, two of my Supra engines been loaded in the back of this, a couple of Chevy 350s, multiple transmissions, JDM B20. Took many, many parts all over the place in this thing. I don't imagine uh, any but the true gearheads there will understand what I'm talking about. I've had this truck for over a decade. She's been with me through thick and thin, good times and bad, and she's never let me down. So after 154,000 miles, my final impressions of my 2004 Chevrolet Colorado ZQ8. I love this truck, I really do. If it weren't for the fact I have the F-250, uh, if it weren't for the fact I have a family, you know, if it weren't for the fact that I'm just 10 years older than I was when I got this truck, I'd still keep it. She's been very good to me. She's never given me any problems, major problems. Now let's see, what have I had to do? Brakes, front and rear, of course, at 155,000 miles. I've not had to touch the clutch. The clutch has never once slipped on me. Never had any issue with it. Basic maintenance. I had a battery, fuel cap, that front driver's side uh, wheel hub. It was actually the ABS sensor that went out. I ended up replacing the whole hub anyway, it was just easier. Other than that, she has been perfect. Just chugs on down the road. I've got the three and a half liter five cylinder in here with the five speed stick shift, as all vehicles should be. I've had a lot of fun with her. She's peppy. 220 horsepower is not a lot in this day and age of 300 plus horsepower V6s that knock down 30 miles to the gallon, but it's still 220 horsepower is enough to get you moving around, especially when a vehicle is light. A little truck only weighs about 3,200 pounds. I will say the five cylinder is not the smoothest engine in the world. NVH was not taken into account with this thing. She rumbles, she rattles, she makes some noise. But she always gets me from point A to point B. No problems. I have run out of gas in it. It'll do just over 400 miles on a tank. I don't recommend you push it that far. When you hit 380, she's not kidding. You need fuel now. The ZQA package is a lot of fun, especially going down the interstate. Or really just tearing up twisties. I mean, She's just much more spry. She's way more spry than you expect a uh, truck to be. Handles very flat, very little body roll. I've been really impressed with it. Um, you know, the tires I currently have on it, Kumo Exta ASXs, can't say enough good about them. They've been terrific all-weather tires. They handle everything I throw at them. They've lasted very well. I want to say I've got about 45,000 miles on these, and they're about two-thirds of the way worn down. I just can't justify having two trucks. I've got no good reason for it. So the little truck's gonna go. Interior's held up pretty well. The um, part of the sun visor here is starting to come on undone. Had to take a little bit of headliner glue. I sprayed up in there, clamped it down. It's back together, no problem. Uh, I do like though that the these pieces are formed actually. So as to when the glue separated and came down, it came down as almost like a half of a shell. So it made it real easy for me to get it back up in there. Brakes are wonderful on this thing. I've never had any issue with the brakes. I've never asked for more brakes. Um, the ZQ8 does give you one nice option that you don't get with the other uh, the other options with the first generation Colorados. You can turn traction control off, and she'll burn first gear right up. She'll lay rubber in second, and she'll grab a little rubber in third too. I've not been easy on her. That's part of why I think I'm going to really miss her. Is it's just she has taken everything I've thrown out, and always come back for more. I mean, I could not have asked more from this little truck. I really could not. I definitely think this was a vast improvement over the old S10s. Um, especially my, my mother-in-law actually had a 02 uh, S10, four-cylinder, five-speed. It was um, it was special. 
company I got around. They left us stranded on the interstate, left my wife and I stranded on the interstate. We actually had to go take her 67 Chevy to go get it. So I'll say, yeah, there's that. The three and a half liter in this is based off the Atlas uh, 4.2 straight six, basically chopped the cylinder off there. They're a very, very nice running motor. I've never burned oil or anything like that. I don't know what it is about a vehicle you've had for so long, especially one that's been with you through soon through your good times and your bad times. You really get attached to them. I think a lot of people that aren't real heavy into cars don't really understand what that's like to get a real attachment to an inanimate object. I mean, to a piece of machinery, you know. All reliable. I feel like I'm putting down old yeller here. Maximum torque on this is at around 2800 RPM. So she does want to spin up a little bit, but she's not too willing to spin. It's not rev happy like you find a little four cylinder, but it's got it's got good torque. It's got that variable cam phasing system in there, so it's got it'll gives you supposedly like 80, 80, 85 percent torque from 1500 to 5800 RPM. A lot of wind noise in here. You know, it's um, I'm moving up off of the economy truck here. I'll have to get used to it being much quieter. I'm sure some of the wind noise probably will pick up through in this video but she runs fine I mean, I'm doing about 80 right now this cruise is down the road the nice thing with this with a five-speed in it is at 80 mile an hour I'm sitting right about 2600 rpm I'm just under my maximum torque so yeah if I need to sprint around somebody I don't need a downshift give them a little bit more throttle and away we go the interior is held up okay I haven't had many vehicles for as long as I've had this one so it's hard for me to gauge that I will say that the little center console in the back with the cup holders, that little plastic nut that goes in where the jack and all is, there's a big long screw that screws in through there and holds that whole assembly back there together. The plastic nut, you cannot get separately. I think that's dumb. That little plastic nut, if you're in and out of there a couple times, completely fails. It just breaks apart. On the front grill, the front uh, passenger side clips broken off. It's about 85 bucks for a new grill on Amazon. It's one of the reasons I'm trading her in on a newer vehicle. Again, I can't justify having two trucks. And this one's hitting the point where if I wanted to keep it, I need to do some cleaning up. It's got some scratches, some gouges. You know, it needs some love if I were to clean this up and bring it back pristine. And I'd want to recover the interior and leather and all, but I can't justify having a little vehicle like this that I can't bring the family in. So it's time for me to get a more family-oriented vehicle. We're looking at SUVs and minivans and all. And I think I like what we settled on. But yeah, I gotta say, she's been great to me. She's treated me really well. I've not always treated her well, but she has stood the test of time. I will say, looking around out there, you know, you can pick up something like this. Well, I only found one other ZQA for sale on Auto Trader. It was in Ohio for $7,500. But I will say, the, uh, the automatic transmission's really horrible, these little trucks. If you can find one with a five cylinder five speed, they're pretty nice. I can definitely recommend this, you know, like I said, not everybody can afford to go out and buy a brand new car every three or four years. If you need a vehicle that's going to last you, I can say a Colorado 5-cylinder five 5-speed, five if you take care of it, it will take care of you.